or in front of the Salvadoran Congress defended the innocence of their relative detained and presented their arguments proving their claims. We request a review of the cases of innocent people arbitrarily detained because they are parents, brothers, cousins, nephews, friends, etc., who in many cases are the breadwinners of their families, and it is not fair that they are being held in jail for crimes for which there is no real evidence or proof. Only phone calls from ill-intentioned individuals who for various reasons seek to damage their reputation. I come because my son lived in a canton with his wife. Here is his wife. They have a child and they have left him without their parents. My son has his trip pending for June 24 and they have taken him away on June 11. They have taken him and the girl. He's here in Mariona and she is in Pantago. He had his American visa. They had sent him to go to work for eight months. I was a victim of the gangs. They wanted to kill me, marking my face forever. And now with this pain that my brothers has been captured, they are unjustly detained because they do not belong to anything. They are working boys, and what hurts me the most is that I have been a victim, and now my brothers are locked up in a place where they can even be with the ones who did this damage to my face for not paying rent.